Hey guys, so today I am going to flash Samsung experience on my Z2 Plus and I am going to show you how to do that. So the first step is to boot your phone into recovery. Now what you need to do is click on your power button and you will get an additional option right there which is advanced. Now as you click on, just let me do the focus. Now when you click on advanced, you will be able to see the recovery option which is the first one. Just click on it and now you will be rebooting to, rebooting to recovery automatically. Now go to wipe option, advanced, select Dalvik cache, system, data and vendor. Swipe it and now uh, after your data will be wiped, go back, go back and now go to go to install. Now you need to select and flash this uh, specific ROM but that is uh, Xiaomi, uh, Xiaomi Mi UI 8.11.1. So this will be the base ROM. Now just think of it, uh, you can actually uh, select and flash any custom ROM which is based on Android 8.1 but the Nashi show class uh, MI, Xiaomi Mi UI 8.11.1 is uh, far the best ROM uh, which can be used as the base ROM for uh, Samsung Experience GSI which I am going to flash further in this video so do uh, download this video uh, do download this uh, ROM I will be putting the link in the description below uh, from where you will be able to download this one so after downloading it do flash this one now just follow the steps uh, as I told, uh, tell you do not do any additional steps or do not try to do something else as it will uh, actually make your phone uh, go into boot loop or it will uh, get to for your phone to restart and get into fast boot mode automatically but your phone won't restart and you won't be able to successfully flash any custom ROM so do follow the steps carefully now actually the flashing of this ROM uh, will take some time not much but there, it will take some time so I'm just going to skip that part now as you, are, as you are done with that now go back and now select this options do not select the vendor option do not select it okay now select the first four options and swipe them and now go to restore to Samsung GSI which you need to make sure that is actually in your uh, smartphone into internal storage in the TWRP backup folder so first of all create a TWRP folder in your smartphone and then actually uh, extract your uh, Samsung experience uh, rare file into that folder into that TWRP folder and then from that you need to flash uh, you will get to this restore option and you just need to restore and only system do not restore boot and the second option just restore the system option and does, uh, this thing will take, uh, take some time as you can see the, the whole ROM is around the whole GSI is around 2100 MB MB and uh, so it will take some time to actually flash the system uh, on the MIUI so actually the MIUI 8.11.1 .1 is the base one and uh, the Samsung GSI system will be flashed on it so the bugs in the MIUI will be on this one but by far the best ROM which is likely uh, which can be used for Samsung experience is the MIUI so I actually tried AEX 5.8 and flashed it and tried to use it but there were many bugs as you I, I was not able to select most of the options the applications were for stopping uh, I wasn't able to register my fingerprint hotspot Wi-Fi was not working when I actually flashed AX 8.1 uh, 5.8 as the base ROM so I actually downloaded MIUI 8.11.1 and actually I'm, I'm just going to show you in this I just showed you in this process that you need to flash that uh, ROM as the base one to make sure that you actually will be you will get a stable experience while using samsung experience on your zigz2 plus so now as you can see we are done with the process now go back and now what you need to do is go mount the system and the vendor system and vendor should be mounted now go back and install these two files the two files which you need to install are the same the patch files so you need to first of all uh, patch uh, the flash the first first patch file that is the uh, one number and you click on it and you flash it so th this is the first patch file with you which you need to flash now after that uh, as you're done with the patching of uh, flashing of the first file you will be uh, you will need to actually see that as is your uh, vendor mounted so do go back and go to uh, just a minute go to mount and actually just unselect vendor and select it again just to make sure that you don't uh, get into any uh, boot loops so now you need to flash the second file uh, now and when you are done with that you just need to uh, boot your phone so there will be a second reboot between in between and uh, your phone will boot twice so you don't need to worry about it 
and now as you, if you have, if you have followed the steps perfectly as i just, uh, just told you in the video your phone will uh, re will be able to use the samsung experience on your smartphone so the rebooting process will take some time around uh, 5 to 8 minutes and so i'm just going to skip this that process so as you can see in the screen uh, the samsung logo will appear and the phone will boot up so if the samsung app, uh, logo appears on your smartphone uh, you will be able to understand that yes you have, you have actually flashed samsung experience perfectly on your smartphone now as i said before do follow the steps perfectly to make sure you don't get any errors or bugs in the rom the rom is very stable as i actually uh, before uploading this video i used the, the rom for around a day to make sure make sure that there are there aren't any bugs which might uh, affect your day-to-day -day performance but I, as I as I'm using it right now it looks fine and there are not any bugs which uh, might affect your day-to-day -day performance so now uh, as, as we are done with the video uh, with the flashing part and as you can see our phone is booted up so now uh, I have actually set up the smartphone and now what you need to do is you need to flash the gaps open gaps file now this file is uh, needed because you need to use the google applications like google and the google services on your smartphone for that uh, i'm going to flash the google pico the pico version the pico is the least mini version as, as uh, i could i could tell you it is the smallest version of the open gaps and uh, because we don't have uh, much internal uh, memory for flashing any rom the only open gaps version you will be able to flash on your smartphone uh, on this at this point will be the pico version that is that is the one that is based on android 8.1 so now let me search for it so i'm not able to okay so it is no it is open gaps uh, mini don't go for the mini one i'm talking about a pico version so it will be in the download folder let me check it out okay as you can see uh, open gaps arm 64 8.1 pico version now you need to flash it now the flashing process uh, won't be that big because there are not any applications see open gaps pico version doesn't contain any applications it just contain the framework and the google normal google services which you need on your smartphone so you won't be getting any uh, youtube gmail or other applications if you really want to use them uh, you can just download them fr uh, from the play store or if you have the back uh, backup on your smartphone you could, you could just uh, install them from there so now as we are done with the process you just need to reboot your phone and now i can say that you have actually uh, perfectly flash the samsung experience on your smartphone with open caps uh, pico version so now you will you will be able to use the samsung experience and uh, open google services on your smartphone now the set, set the setup process might take some time because it will be different from the regular process uh, which you normally do on your phone uh, after uh, flashing open gaps open gaps uh, pico version on your smartphone you will need to set up the samsung experience room again once again and um, so do uh, just do it and say the menu uh, reboot your phone for a second time it won't take much time so now as you can see i'm i just uh, let me just get out the pattern and uh, so now as you can see the google play store is available and i just need to sign in and uh, complete the setup process as you can see there is sign in option so as as you will use your use your phone uh, normally around after an hour or two you will just see a setup process uh, icon available on the not in the notification bar so just set up your uh, set up your smartphone once again and now you you will be asked to add your gmail account and all the backup applications which you normally use so now you you will be able to use the samsung experience perfectly so i will actually make a gameplay video about it and a full review in two parts because explaining uh, uh, custom roms like this one which are actually com which are, are company based uh, won't be that easy and i need to ex make sure that i explain it in two parts so that's it for this video please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and thank you for watching and please do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next